the major landforms which keep on occurring or which happen are because of the erosion and the deposition. So, let us find out about the two main happenings in the landforms that is the weathering and the erosion. First of all, what is a weathering? The breaking down of the rocks on the surface of the earth is termed as weathering. Simple, it is the breaking down of the rocks on the surface of the earth. But what is erosion? The wearing of the landscape by various agents like the water, wind and ice is termed as erosion. This erosion and deposition as I said earlier, they are majorly responsible for the constitution, for the making, for the changing of the various landforms and we shall be seeing about them in detail. Well, let me talk little about the work of a river. You see, river is a mighty water flowing endlessly and what are the various functions that the river keeps on making or bringing about the changing in the various courses that it has. First of all, we will try and understand that it makes waterfall. Now, how does the river make a waterfall? When the river tumbles at steep angles on the hot or hard rocks, it is called as the waterfall. What is it? You all have seen a waterfall in your life, I am sure. Some have seen big waterfalls, some have seen small waterfalls. But what are those waterfalls? How are they made? Simply this river when it tumbles at steep angles on the hard rocks, it forms the waterfalls. Then we will try and understand what is a meander. Meander is when the river reaches the plains. Here it was on the rocks. When the river reaches the plains, it twists and after that twisting of the river, it starts the formation of the bends and these bends make the meander. Now next we have to understand what is an oxbow lake. This same meander, when the loop cuts from the river, when the meander loop cuts from the river, it forms the cut off lake and it is also called as the oxbow lake. So, you have already seen the three functions of the river that is making of the waterfall, making of the meander and making of the oxbow lake. But there are many other functions and major changes which the river keeps on making in its course which I am going to tell you just now. We have already seen the three major changes which the river has brought about in its course of action. The next one that we are going to see is when the river actually overflows its bank. Naturally, when the water is overflowing on the bank, what is going to happen? There is going to be flood in that area. So, the next change which the river can bring about is by flooding the area. When the floods occur in an area, then that flood also does one good thing and that is it deposits the fine soil which it has brought from many fertile areas and thus it forms a fertile flood plain. Further, then the river also makes the raised banks and these raised banks are called as leaves. Okay. After that, you see the river was there on the rocky hard surface and it was forming the what? The waterfall and when it moves into plains, it has done lots of destruction and lot of construction. 
but now it has finally reached near the sea. So when it is approaching the sea, when it is coming near the sea, the speed of the river starts decreasing. And when the speed decreases, then the river starts breaking into small streams. And these streams are called as distributaries. So what has happened? The river, when the movement has become slow, when it is approaching the sea, starts distributing, starts channelizing, starts making different way outs. And these are called as streams, that is the distributaries. Okay? Now these distributaries, which are formed of the river, so many of them, they start the collection of sediments. And when the collection of the sediments is done at the mouth, that is the various distributaries mouth, they start collecting the sediments. This is the, this is leading to the formation of delta. So, these are the various lovely changes that the river keeps on making in its course. And you have seen that the speed of the river is very, very high in its first course. That is when it is on the mountains and the rocks. The speed becomes okay. It is fine when it is in the plains. And when it is approaching the sea, the speed actually dies down. So it is said that the river keeps on changing the speed according to the course of the place that it is moving. So the course of action is also occurring due to the speed or the change in the speed which the river keeps on making in the various courses.